I hate how Kobe always gets dismissed dismissed from that conversation. And, and just just to talk about Mamba because his birthday is tomorrow. Oh yes, we gotta we gotta talk about how how much he's done for so many people. I think, like, it still it still doesn't hate me. I feel like it's a dream that he's not here. Like mm-hmm. I still feel like oh he's gonna show up on TV like tomorrow. But then you remind yourself like damn he's not there. Where were you when you heard the news? I was actually working. And I oh, was, really? yeah, I'm, I'm a, I was a server at the time. Uh-huh. And when I was serving, like one of my coworkers came up to me and she was like, yo, like Kobe just got in a plane crash or helicopter crash. And I was like, like, shut the fuck up. Right. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, nah, it's fucking fake news. That's right. fake news. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. You're crazy. It, he was just one of those people that like, and then like, when, like when stuff I, like that doesn't happen. Like, I was like talking to my, like the people I was serving and they were like, what? Like Kobe died That's a, It can't be real Right Like nah dude Like it's real Like that's what they're saying I'm like And then boom It got confirmed Like an hour later And it was like No way And then I remember you called me I was yeah I called you Cause yeah. dude Like Kobe's like That's my mentor man That's like Like For <laughs> everyone that knows us Like personally They know like How much like Kobe He's our idol us. man yeah. He's our idol Kobe played a big factor In our lives So It's definitely it's definitely tough. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you said that you think Kobe gets left out of the GOAT conversation. Yeah, Where man. Where would you personally rank him I mean, in your all-time list? If we're going – see, because I, I agree with Shaq and Jordan uh-huh. when they say that it's unfair to compare to compare from different eras because the game was different. Mm-hmm. If so, you put them against them now, like, it's hard to say. My so, thing is – all right. I, don't I, I, do I like, like no I like com- to do I like to do guard like a positions is a whole nother thing. Right. I do best person at their position. Right. And if you did like you could do Jordan and Kobe, and then if you did that, I would say like one A one B. Right. My thing is is not like I don't want to like compare because I think I feel like everyone's over that like stage with like comparing Kobe to nah, MJ to I don't LeBron. Do that. No, 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 more no. just appreciating. But I just appreciate talent, man. It's so hard because like, people always ask me like, "Where do you rank Kobe in your all time list?" And I, I always say, "I have him six. I don't do that. I but can't, you can't, you can't compare players tell, who are different. That's like saying who's better, AD or Damian Lillard. Who's better? No, but look, this I, is, answer the question. You gotta hear. You gotta hear my my like my reasoning for that. Because if you ask me all time greats, I'll put Kobe six. If you ask me who's my favorite player ever. I'll say Kobe. If you ask me who's the most skilled player ever, I'll still say Kobe. No, I agree with you. Definitely. But as far as all time, I only do it because. Is this based uh, off of success? Are you saying? No, like, you like, know, like the, the criteria for like your, your top five. So, so what my is criteria? criteria is when you ask me who's the best point guard of all time, I'm going to say Magic Johnson. You ask me who's the best shooting guard of all time, I'm going to say Michael Jordan. You ask me who's the best small forward of all time, I say LeBron. You ask me the best power for I'm going to say Tim Duncan. You ask me the best center, I'm going to say Kareem. So that's my top five because I feel like that's the easiest way so to explain you're, it. So you're going, you're going strictly based off of accolades and accomplishments. Like, like, like all those criteria mixed into one. But that's why I say skilled-wise, I say Kobe. And I say that because everyone's, everyone will be like, oh. No one is more skilled than Kobe. No Brown. one's more skilled than Kobe. And I'll say this because. I can't even say MJ's better him because Kobe used all of MJ's moves and, and he added some, more. Yeah, and like Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, like Clyde Drexler, Jerry West, Magic, James Worthy. He, he like that's why you can't compare players from like eras. because they didn't get the same opportunity exactly. to copy the moves from the people before them. So like they paved the way, and that's why I always agree with Shaq and Jordan when they say that. Yeah, so that's why when I, that's why so I agree with. You. I can't. That's why I wouldn't say that. Oh, so and so is better than so and so because you don't know how they fare in this NBA. If they were that good, then like. Right. When you raise the bar, that just means that those people are also going to raise themselves to the bar. Right. If there are winners, they're going to be winners, you know? Mm-hmm. And and that's how I feel. MJ would have been as good as he needed to be, to be the mm-hmm. best. And that's just how MJ was. Right. And Kobe was the same, same way. way. So it would have been it would have been tough. Like if, if let's say like Kobe was on the Lakers and Michael Jordan played in the same era and he was on the Bulls, mm-hmm. they both wouldn't have been undefeated. Right. I mean, Jordan, I mean, Kobe already wasn't, but Kobe's going to win some of those matchups. He's right. going to win. He, Jordan's definitely not going to game. He's going yeah. to game. That's why you ones. can't really compare players from like history. It's just like because you're saying what if at that point? Yeah, I mean, we can't. We can't do that. All we can do is say, okay, who's the best? Who's the best at their position? And you can compare them at their position based off of accolades and. Yeah, that's wh- that's why I said I have Kobe like six because I he's Kobe's the second, the second best, shooting, best guard. shooting guard, and but. 
that's like a different conversation as far as like skilled and like so who's your top, who's your top five above them? I just said I said Matt. Oh, oh like my actual your five? order? Yeah, yeah my order. Is Jordan. Is, Jordan's first. I have Kareem second. I have Magic Johnson third. I have LeBron James fourth and Tim Duncan fifth. And then I have Kobe six. That's a good list. That's a really that's yeah. hard to argue that list. Yeah, so that's why I have Kobe six. It's not like a diss at Kobe because he's still my favorite player. He's like yeah, he's still my favorite. And I still think he's the most skilled of all time. Yeah. Speaking of of Kobe, man, just he's the, he did so much. Like it's it's such a it's such a sad thing to hear when he passed because you know you talk about all the things he did and the things he was doing for, you know, WNBA, especially we were talking oh, about yeah. it a while back, you know, mm-hmm. he was doing so much for the game because he had mm-hmm. all daughters and he wanted his daughters to have that same opportunity. Right. And, and that's what I think it gets lost is that he's more for, than just a basketball player, more yeah. than just a basketball player, but he inspired not only like NBA players, he like inspired his, generation his, after of non, exactly. you know, people who didn't play basketball, mm-hmm. he made them into it. He, he like, he brought so many people together. You saw how big those those uh, like his m- memorial memorials were. They were huge. No one like no one's had a like, memorial that big. I no remember one. the news like people that don't even like watch like politicians that don't even watch sports or talk about it. They even felt like Kobe, the effects of Kobe. Kobe was beloved. Like yeah, everyone, everyone. I mean, not just the, L.A. Like every state. Yeah, across the like the world, like China. Yeah, and it's, if and and even even you know to say it like what Dre said, they don't love you like they love Kobe. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's how it is, Paul Pierce. Um, you know? Is there any players in today's game that like remind you of Kobe? Yeah, we could do we could I could do my all my five players. I'll I do have like, like five players for each too. position. I'll do five. Okay, so okay. I'll do Dame. Dame he has, has like my he has my mama mentality. Yeah. Um, shooting guard, I'm gonna go Booker. Right. Um. Small forward, I'm gonna go Kawhi. Right. Power forward, I'm gonna go AD. Yeah. And then center. That's tough. I'm trying to think of a center that plays with like intensity. With that intensity skill. and that. I yeah. would say low key. I would say like Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, yeah, I'd say Joel Embiid because he was a huge Kobe fan. Remember, he, he was, was the reason Kobe why fan, yeah. he started playing basketball. He was watching yeah. Kobe. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The only person, the there's a dude you can tell like Kobe impacted because I can name like five other players. Like Kyrie is like the highest one on my list because like Kyrie, if I'm ever gonna say someone's gonna pass Kobe in skill, it might be Kyrie or Kevin just because of skill. Yeah, Kyrie has a lot of sk- KD. KD's another great one. Yeah, but he's like almost, KD's almost in his own little world. He's like he's his like own like criteria. A, he's a unicorn, you know. He's, a he's seven like foot. a seven foot. Yeah, but he's skilled. Like he uses like Kobe's moves, MJ moves. Like, yeah, he has everything. You yeah. can even even George Paul. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, but yeah, I, that's all um, right. Yeah, but going going back to Kobe, I don't want to leave that. Yeah, this I'm not done because it's yeah. Kobe Day. This is this this will be released on eight twenty four August twenty fourth on Mama Day. Um, seven 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 months. Uh huh. Do you have any like personal like stories like what Kobe means to you? Like personally, like how do you like use like what I, he taught I, you to your everyday life? I apply that to everything I do. Um, I actually had an Instagram post uh, when he died. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one to really post it much on Instagram. I mean, right. other than, you know, now because, you right. know, we have our own thing. But there was there was a quote that I posted, and it just really resonated with what Kobe did and what he did for me. Um, I'll, I'll read the quote. It says, the most important thing is to try and inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do. And he really did that for me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because before, you know, when you think about, what Kobe stands for. He stands for trying to be the best out of whatever you are, Mm -hmm. make the best out of your situation. Exactly. And never give up and just do the best and, and, and live with the results. Right. And, and that's all I can do. Like he, he's not perfect. He made mistakes, Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, like he did, he's, he was a damn good person. He, he helped so many people in so many ways, get through so many things and become better people that if everyone had that mentality, the world would be a better place. Oh yeah, for sure. But you know, it's 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 such a bummer, you know. So I like I like I said, he inspired me to be the best person I could be every single day, and right. for that, I'm eternally grateful. And for sure, he, his memory will always stand. You know, I always, I still, I still yell out Kobe every time I oh, shoot. Oh, every time we shoot, like I the can't, trash can. you know, they say Curry, but I can't. No, nah, it's nah. Kobe, man. You know what I miss? Remember, like 
back when we were like in high school, we would watch the Laker games, eat pizza, and then right after we would go to the park and like practice. And try and practice every time yeah. I, I'm over. I'm like, I'm literally posting you up. Yeah, we were trying like, to work on my fadeaway. We practice like Kobe's like falling out of bounds fadeaway. Yeah, like his catch and shoot. Well, yeah. under under the backboard. Do you remember when he hit under the backboard? Yeah, like He's stuff like, like that. And I'm just like, man, bro, like stuff yeah. like that. That's like us growing up, and then even now, like, like I feel like he inspired. Like what you said, like to be the best possible version of yourself. It's yeah. kind of like this Kanye quote. I think that's how it goes. It's like, life ain't perfect, but you got to make life worth it. Yeah, yeah. It ain't. You got to make the best of what you do. Yeah, like if you're out there listening and you're like working at McDonald's and you're flipping burgers, just know that like if you're gonna flip burgers, be the best. Be the person. best at flipping burgers. I think exactly. Kanye made a whole song about it. Actually, he goes, he's like, I'm Kanye West. I'm trying to be my Kanye best. Exactly. Because if if you're not out here trying to be your best, right, you're you're wasting your life away. Right. And that's, that's and it's funny because I catch and, myself like that. Sometimes. And anyone anyone who sees you doing your best is going to be motivated to do their best. Exactly. And if they don't, then that's on them. You got to keep doing you and trying to be the best you because every time you do that, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can go to sleep at night knowing that you were the best you right. and, and you can live with the results because yeah. regardless what you did, you did everything you could do and you could go to sleep. You could die that day and know that, hey, I did the best I could. Exactly. And that's why Kobe... You know, he probably didn't have many regrets other than, you know, he wishes he was with his family or he could have, you know, wished his family probably goodbye. More, right. But I mean, other than that, he, you know, he was, he probably had no regrets. He was happy probably to be there with his daughter, you right. know. Speaking of um, his daughters, have you seen Pau Gasol, how he's like actually been there for like Vanessa Bryan and his kids? No, I didn't. I'm sure they were really close. I think his, him and his girlfriend, was it his girlfriend or his wife? His wife. I think him they're and, all like, him and his wife and were like really close. They would always hang out because Kobe and Pau were like, brothers right they were brothers from another yeah, mother during this whole time pal has been like really the main one to like he goes over and he plays with the kids and yeah she'll post it like because like you need they you were, need like, a father figure and you gotta think about that mm -hmm. he's he's like their their uncle yeah they call uncle him pal. uncle pal yeah uncle pal yeah and then pal's having his own his own children too so it's oh like, he just had is he, his wife pregnant yeah so i think because like, he didn't have any kids yet i don't think so i think because he was playing he was playing yeah, yeah. so but he wants to be there for his family if he's gonna be there yeah so i said on to him Pau Gasol. that's shout why he Pau. needs to retire with the lakers play one more season and hang his jersey right next to kobe's i know man if they don't retire his jersey i'm gonna be extremely extremely mad like I was, I was a little bummed, Derek Fisher, but I get it. He was a role player. You can't give him, yeah. you know. But Pal was a championship contender. Like yeah. he was, he, he was arguably just as important as Kobe. Even you know? Kobe said himself that if he that Pal no needs championships. To, yeah, for yeah, sure. His he jersey to has there. to be right there next to his. Yeah, and I think that's what the Lakers have to do next season. Yeah. Um. Also, um, going back to Kobe, did you see the releases of uh the Mamba jersey and the shoes? Yeah, they're gonna play game four. Uh, with in the, the Mamba, Mamba jersey. jerseys, I feel like after game four and everything on there, you gotta wear those jerseys. For yeah, Kobe. I mean, I, I'm That's sure. Why I think Lakers it has to. to I think it has to do with like contracts or some shit. Yeah. They force you to wear different jerseys, jerseys or whatever. Stuff, probably, but I think the Lakers should wear that Mamba jersey starting game four on Mamba Day for the rest of the playoff series. I agree. If that if they could have had them earlier, I would have just had them every day, mm -hmm. but. There's so much other than that though is like the Lakers are a bigger franchise. They're gonna say it's you know right. I mean, I, what I do honor hope Kobe. though what I do hope though is like because they are releasing shoes as well, I hope resellers don't take advantage of like the fact that Kobe passed away and try to upsell those shoes. Cause That's not gonna happen. Because but. I'll say this, as far as shoes go, Kobe's are not like street shoes like Jordan's. They're Co basketball they're shoes. They're basketball shoes. And Kobe was one of those players that were like, nah, his shoe is so are, technical. Like, it's it's made for hooping. For hooping. Yeah. So, for any resellers listening, I feel like you guys should definitely, like, let people buy the shoes, go play in them. Who cares? You know? And that's another thing. It's like, it's just a materialistic thing, but go out there and play. I think, like, if Kobe were to tell people, like, nah, don't, like, resell my shoes for 400 bucks. Nah, wear them to the ground. Well, go if to that's the park. The, if that's the thing, if if Nike's gonna make it like a short release, then you, it's they, gonna be, yeah, Nike don't they, short release don't it. Don't short release it. Make it make like it like if Kobe was still mass here. manufactured. Yeah, because because I think he make would it want is that. so that every single fan of his can purchase the shoe. Because mm -hmm. that's the one thing I loved about Kobe's. Because when I play basketball, I wear nothing but Kobe's. Is because he made feel, the best shoe. Yeah, they were like for basketball. They were for like any type of play. You felt like you were playing like. Like, like Kobe, Kobe when yeah. you were wearing them, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like 
be like Mike, but then that kind of transitioned to like a hype beast, like street shoe. And Kobe's was always going to be for hooping. So I don't I want really, them to change it. Yeah. Yeah. If, I hope Nike doesn't short sell it. I hope resellers don't do it. I'm going to try to buy a jersey for myself because the mama jersey looks nice. Yeah. And the shoes. I if hope I they. I hope they. Shoes. They have access to it so that everybody can get it still. Because you know now, I think the jerseys are even more expensive. They're like one twenty. Yeah, but they they were what before eighty five, ninety five. Now they were always one twenty. They didn't go up. No, they didn't go up. That's a good thing. But I hope like again resellers. Okay, that's my thing. Do the Lakers still sell it on their website? Right. Not the Mamba jersey. I think that's directly through Nike. I'm not oh. sure about the jersey, but I know the shoes. You had to buy it from the sneakers app. From the sneaker app. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I just you know. Let the people buy it and don't don't feel like, oh, these are like special, you know, because Kobe would want people to wear his shoes to go out and play. Yeah, he wanted it for everybody. Yeah, but um, do you have any uh, favorite moments? Your top eight Kobe moments. Oh, man, it's too many, man. It's hard to think of just the top. I know I know one for sure when he was running. It is one or eight in order. Yeah, like eight to one. I can't even make an order, man. Kobe right. is so, yeah. I'll, I'll start off with the one that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Right. Um, one of my favorite ones I always think of is when it was Christmas Day. And they were okay. down. I think they were down or it was tied. It might have been like, you know, they were down Knicks? two. No, no, no. It was against uh, Miami. Oh, Dwayne okay. Wade's guarding him. Oh, LeBron's okay. double teaming. He's running. Mm-hmm. And he hits a one-legged fadeaway off the glass. And I just knew it was nothing but it was buckets. So that's one. I think the other, like, I don't know if you want to count it as one moment or, like, multiple. Mm-hmm. But when he's playing Toronto. Like, every time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Obviously, the 81-point game. Right. That's its whole moment. Right. And then the other one where he's down. They're down, like, a lot. And he hits three threes, like, back-to-back over Rudy Gay and Terrence Ross. And literally, you're just, like, you're shaking your head. Like, you just nothing but net. Right. So that's three I can think of off the top of my head. Um, the lob to Shaq. Oh, the point that's, I, yeah, that's like you, iconic. Yeah, so super iconic. The one where he's playing Indiana, Shaq got fouled out, and he carried the team after he had an ankle injury, I believe. Oh, okay. When he, yeah, that was another one. Uh, what's the next? That's five, right? Man, that's tough. Uh, when him and him and Steph Curry. Oh, and he when gave him the little when when Steph hit the shot in his face and he slapped him on the ass. That was like you. That was like him that was, like hey, respect. Respect. Like, yeah, and you don't see Kobe do that often. Yeah, or uh, and it was a preseason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's how you know Kobe was like, oh, okay. I can think of another one that's top of my head. Kobe uh, hitting a fadeaway on KD, and it was like oh, over. Yeah, it, was like, it was over the backboard. I think. I think he was fading off to the side, and he hits it. And it arcs over the backboard. It was beautiful. And then Katie was like, fuck. And I think it was a foul, too. Or Katie scored on him. I don't remember. I think it was both. It might have happened both times, honestly. Yeah, because they had a lot of great matchups. They had a lot of great matchups. And um, it was another time I'm thinking of where Dame, I think, was a rookie. And he, oh, yeah. And he and scored 50. And he's, yeah, he scored 50. D- Dame scored 50, and Kobe had, like, 39. I think he had, like, 49 or something like that. Dame I know what you're talking Dame about. Dame had 49. Yeah, something like that. Kobe had, like, 30-something. Yeah. And then at the end of the game, they're talking, and Kobe's like, yo, you, you up next. You know, yeah. like, slap on, you know, kind of slap on the butt, kind of like mm-hmm. Steph. And you just know, you know. So those are probably the ones that I can really think of, just him spreading the game. Oh, um, actually, Team USA, I didn't even think. I'm just thinking NBA. Team USA, yeah. he had his whole, his whole thing, too. When he, he was playing against Spain, Oh, against Pal. Dude, he's playing against Pal, and he's just, oh, my God, so dominant. He took over. He took over. It's, you just watch it, and it's just like. it's and like he's with the best players on his team. It's like watching dance. Like It's like not even watching. It's like so mesmerizing. It's like you're almost hypnotized. Right. It's ridiculous. Like It's, it's like artwork. For real. It's, yeah, it's, that's, those are probably the ones I'd go with. I actually wrote down my top eight Kobe moments. These are my personal ones. They're not like. The general ones, like what like most people would say. So uh, me and Axel actually went to this basketball game. It was when Kobe had a triple double against the Raptors. Do you remember that one? And then that was the game where Kobe like broke Terrence Ross's ankles. I don't know. Oh if you yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he was like staring at the ref because he fouled him. And he was. Like, yeah. It's just like he just rolled that's his eyes and he talking. broke it's his. Not, it's not the same one. Oh no, that's a different game. That was later on. I don't know. That wasn't the same one where he hit three threes in a row, was it? No, I have that on my list too. That was a se- that was a separate one. Yeah, I know yeah, what you're talking about. He broke the that, ankles. We were at that game. The, I know me and Axel were. I don't know if you were. 
I think I no, no you I sent me it so. was you know I don't remember I know I for I sure have. there was another one um so number seven I have Kobe he drops thirty eight against the Timberwolves it was a random game in his final season jersey it was a white twenty four jersey and that was the game I don't know if you remember but remember Andrew Wiggins hit a fadeaway over Kobe. And Kobe was like, nice move. Where'd you get that from? He's like, oh, I got that from you. Yeah, yeah, it was that game. I remember and I remember that, that game because that was the first game I ever went. It was actually the second game where I ever went and I seen Kobe, like, close out a game. Mm-hmm. Like, coming back from down and he was just, like, hitting all his OP, like, fadeaway mid-range shots. Two case shots. Yeah, and I was just like, damn. I just remember, like, people just chanting MVP so loud. I was like, man, this is, like, Kobe. Oh, and it was his last season, so, like, he put on a performance like that. I need Kobe, man. I just, but number six, I have Kobe 81. I'll never forget that because I remember I was in school and I didn't watch the game, but everyone was telling me, yo, Kobe had 81, 81, 81. And then you rewatch it. Like, and yeah, you rewatch it. You're just like, man, Jalen Rose, poor guy. Poor guy. But <laughs> I, just when like, I rewatch it, it's just like, man, Kobe was just locked in. He wasn't like, yeah, like he wasn't like, no one else is there. Talking. No one else is there. Yeah. He's in an open gym in his mind. Yeah. It was like, like and every, were, like, everything meditating. else is an hallucination. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, dude. Complete what? control over his own mind. The yeah. focus was. No chest pumping, nothing. He just. He was a, he was a mamba. He was a mamba yeah. waiting to strike at his prey. All right. And then at number five, I have Kobe when he wins five against the Celtics. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. game is so special because everyone knows Kobe had a bad game scoring wise. Yeah, but what made that game special is that he knew he was playing bad, so he went out there and got like 16 rebounds. He was like wheeling his team. He was passing and, to Powell. And, and you look at Meta World when piece. he clutched the uh, the assist. He said, yeah. "Meta, I put this all into you." Exactly. That, and they they always were talking shit about Kobe not passing. Exactly. That was like a storybook. It's moment. such a story. Yeah, yeah. And then he passed it to him, and then the lights were shining, and uh-huh. you just see it go through the net. And to quote Meta, he's like. I made it. I made it. Oh, you know, oh, shit, I made it. Kobe He's like, Kobe, Kobe never passed me the ball. Kobe passed me the ball. He trusts me. And then, yeah, yeah, so man. I have that as number five. So Kobe wins Kobe five for number five. Uh, for number four, I have another game that Minoxo went to was when they gave out the Kobe letter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah th- there was the night he announced his retirement. And back then, I used to be a Paul George fan. Uh-huh. And that was when he was in the Pacers. Oh yeah, yeah, twenty. He was twenty four. So on the I was Pacers. like, and I remember telling Axel, like, "Yo, let's go watch this game. It's gonna be Paul George against Kobe." And then we, remember, we rented out the gym and we were playing basketball together. And then I got a notification. I was like, "Yo, Kobe just announced he's retiring at the end of the season." I was like, "We have to go to this game." Oh yeah, yeah I remember and then, you telling me that. So me and Axel went, and we actually took his brother Hector too. So it was his first Laker game. We got there, and I didn't even know they were doing this, but they gave out like Kobe letters. Yeah. So. And it's, like, worth a lot. I have two. I have one that I never open and one that's open and framed in my room. I remember uh, every time I, I walk in your room, I just stare at it. Yeah. It's beautiful. And every time I read it, I read it, and I'm just like, man, Kobe's a goat. Oh, I forget, dude, the Oscar. He won an Oscar. That's another that's one. That's another, like, I thing forgot it's not it, even yeah. supposed to happen. The whole book is great, too, yeah. Um. All right, so number three, I have those clutch threes against the Raptors, those three clutch-ass threes. That uh-huh. I was just like, that was the 2012-2013 season. Mm-hmm. And I remember watching that at my friend's house. I was just like, what the hell just happened? Like, Oh, dude, the Achilles tear was another one when he was trying to will his team to the playoffs. That whole, that whole season. The whole season, was the whole thing was great. Yeah. 2012-13 was his last, like, all-time great season. That was the year he got hurt, right? His Achilles tear. Yeah. yeah so, but that was, like, you, that was, like, true Mamba mentality. You get to see him will his team. <clears throat> so, number two, I have Kobe's last game. 60 against the Jazz. The last two times I can remember crying was when Kobe passed away and when Kobe dropped 60 on the Jazz. But I cried from, like, happiness, though. Like, I was like, damn, I got a chance to watch Kobe in my, like, in my lifetime. Honestly, dude, I was just looking at that, and I was I was in awe, and I was like, like I think I don't remember if I cried, but it, I might have. I honestly. cried of happiness, though. Like, like I was joy. Like, happy, like joy, yeah. You're I was like, like, damn, like, like I got a damn. chance to witness this. I remember I called off work that day. Really? Because yeah. I requested the day off. They didn't want to give it to me, and I'm like, I got I sick rewatch hours. It. I rewatch it, and I just, man, I can't stop. I mean, obviously, you were sick. Yeah, I was, uh, quote, unquote. Your back yeah. was hurting. Yeah. You had to this go was, to the doctor's like, appointment. What, four years ago? I don't care. I don't work there. Yeah, definitely not. But yeah. I called in sick because they didn't want to give me the day off. I'm like, no, nah, I'm watching Kobe. He dropped 60. I remember we bought pizza. It was a typical, like, I think it was like a Friday night or something. Yeah. 
and that was the most important game to watch rather than the Warriors going 73-9. and nine, So Yeah, no, definitely. Storybook ending. And number one I put on my list was the time that me, and Axel, and his brother, we went to the mall, and we got a chance to see Kobe, like, in person. Mm-hmm. And he was probably, like, five feet away from me. And when you see him, he's, like, the 6'6". He was, like, a godly-like figure. And I was Black like, Jesus. Yeah, and I was just like, man, that's fucking Kobe right there. Like, I can't believe we waited hours because he released the new shoes, the Kobe 8s, and I had the 8s. So I was like, oh, Kobe's going to be at, at this mall. I forgot what the mall was called, but it was in LA. West Covina or something, no? Westfield. Westfield? Westfield, Westfield Mall. Westfield Mall. I remember he was supposed to show up, like, at 11 a.m., but he didn't show up till like, 4. We waited there. Traffic, we waited. L.A. traffic. Probably, but I remember he was shooting a commercial because he was yeah. wearing the same outfit in the commercial. So I was like, oh, that, that's what he was doing. I guess we'll close it off from there. You know, we just wanted to get a chance to, like, appreciate Kobe. Um, Kobe Appreciation Day. Yeah, Mamba Day for everyone here listening. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in on our audio-only special. If you guys want to find us on Instagram, it's Shots Taken's Podcast. Um, you, uh, we'll have links in the description. Links in the description. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um if not, make sure to tune in next week for our next episode. Yep. This week we couldn't do uh, video like visuals, but thank you for tuning in on our audio only.